Morning. I hope you're ready for a backpacking trip because I'm about to embark on the North Country Trail for several days. I'm at the Pinocchi Mountain Ski Area Trailhead for the North Country Trail right off of County GG. The notes say uh, there's an overlook tower that we're going to go up and see because it's right here at the beginning of the trail and then uh, that way we won't miss a view. Nice view from up here. I think normally when I'm backpacking, I'm in the kind of the prime of fall colors. Well, uh, colors are gone and uh, it just looks different, doesn't it? In fairness to you, before we embark on this trip, the theme of it is embrace the suck and know your limits. Wait, did you just say embrace the suck? Wait, did you just say embrace the suck? What do you mean by that, Jeff? I did say that, and the reason why is uh, I wanted to just jump in and deal with the part of backpacking that isn't fun. The weather is getting colder, and there might be some nasty weather coming up. Uh, the fall colors are gone, and um, you know, things like that. For me, embracing the suck means accept that things are not pleasant, accept that things are not going to go according to the nice plan, and uh, by accepting that, you can put all your energy into seeing the opportunity that uh, sucky circumstances create, and um, an opportunity to adapt and uh, move forward so that when you look back, you can still say, hey, I enjoyed this because I overcame. We've been up here for a while now. It's time to get going. We're burning daylight, and we've got a little ways to go. So let's go embrace the suck know our limits and uh, look for opportunities and adapt along the way. It's noon, we're heading onto the trail a little later than I was planning, but that's okay. That's the way it goes, right? I'm right, coming up this hill and I'm thinking, you know what sucks? My pack is 25 pounds and I'm used to like 20 or 22 to start. <sighs> Embrace the suck, right? A lot of that extra weight is uh, gear for colder weather, sleeping bag liner, my uh, spikes to put on the bottom of my shoes in case it gets icy. So it's kind of stuff like that, so we may be glad we have it later. I know I said I was here to embrace the suck, but I'm hoping to avoid embracing the suction of this mud. <laughs> I heard you. I know you're telling me I should have just gone in the mud. Embrace the suck, Jeff. But there'll be plenty of time for that. I just wanted to make some tracks early on. That says we've gone 1.6 miles in about 45 minutes. So we're clipping along pretty good and gonna continue on. This is the warming shelter for the ski trails. Sounds like you're not supposed to camp here unless it's an emergency. It's kind of a bummer. Reminds me of the ones in the AT. But since we're on the Embrace the Suck hike, it's not a big deal we can't camp here because that means um, there's opportunity of different kinds up ahead, right? Let's do it. All right, note to self, just after the shelter, the trail kind of makes a right-hand turn. And I spotted this might be a place that I could pitch the tent on the way back if I uh, needed to. 
see him try and embrace the suck, find the opportunity. Uh, so keep that in mind for the way back. Uh, if the weather gets bad, it'd be nice to be able to camp just a few miles from the car because we'll be going slower. the shelter we passed here's that little uh, place we were gonna probably camp on the way back we've made it around to here this is about three and a half miles in and I'm gonna drink here because I don't know the water sources ahead I like to stay hydrated and save what I carry in case I have to camp in a place where there isn't water Time to embrace the suck. Okay, I have a confession to make. When I first started thinking about coming up here to hike North Country Trail, I was kind of judgy about it. Like, I was thinking it was going to suck because it's not like out west trails and yada yada. But I've just been so pleasantly surprised, and uh, I'm glad I've embraced this trail and. Uh, getting to know it. This is just kind of cool in here. Goes up between those two little knobs and, and uh, well, I guess we're too far from that hill, but it's just going up and down through all this stuff. Just really nice, well-maintained. Volunteers for North Country Trail, thank you. I am really loving this trail. I appreciate all your work and uh, just beautiful out here. Look at that nice bridge. Well done. Look at that nice reflection in the water. It's just gorgeous. Trail Association's done a really nice job of having this trail go in and out of water sources. I guess I didn't need to carry so much. So it's about a quarter after two. So I've been going about two hours and a quarter with a bunch of stops. And we're at about four miles. That's where that nice bridge was. Looks like about four miles from the start. Hoping to do, I think, another two and a half. Um, maybe three and a half see how it goes. Wouldn't see that in the summertime. So sometimes being out here when I thought it was going to suck is really cool. You get views you wouldn't otherwise. Let's go check it out. Very nice, very refreshing. Uh, a gentle breeze right now, just uh, the late fall uh, smell of the air with the different uh, tree scents and stuff. I wish I could put that through the video for you. This viewing spot we were just looking at, it's at mile 161 and a quarter, in case you want to know for your planning. Just saw a couple cars come down this road so it gets used. And it looks like we were at the first crossing of Hanson Road.
right, I think we made it to the uh, third crossing of that Hanson Road. So there should be, at least in theory, campable spots coming up pretty quick to try to take advantage of. And then Three Lakes is about three and eight. We might try to do that tomorrow, go there and then come back. So keep your fingers crossed, find a place to camp. I'm not seeing any uh, camping spot, so the trail is that way, maybe uh, two, 300 feet or so. So I've cleared a spot here. It's not super flat, so that is gonna fit with our theme for this hike, right? But at least it's higher than the rest of this. And I think it's supposed to rain tonight. Got home set up for the night. We've got a sleeping bag liner, one of those emergency blankets, warmer clothes. So ready for the night if those are needed. And then here was a bummer. Uh, I never bring my wallet on a backpacking trip because you don't need it. And I forgot to take it out of my pocket. So, uh, extra weight in the pack. So, <laughs> embrace it. Embrace it. You never know. The squirrels might be offering resupply and take credit cards. Now it is time to eat before we lose the last of our light. Trail is that way. We're not lost, even though it looks it. I guess I have to admit that even though I was feeling like it was kind of, you know, it sucks that there's not a camp spot, since you can camp anywhere out here, and now that I'm set up, I'm thinking, that's not so bad, you know? Uh, it's like I discovered a new way to camp, I guess. The only other bummer site about this site was there's no water. So I do have this full liter and about a half of one of those that I can drink with the life straw. And uh, I guess the river's two miles, so we'll be fine. Uh, but that was the only other thing. But hey, we're just adapting and looking for opportunities, right? Supper is served. Roasted garlic and Parmesan mashed potatoes with lots of pre-cooked bacon warmed up in there now too with it. Mmm. I don't know if you can see it, but I realized the tent was on a slope. So I had to lower the pole on this side. Now it's a little more even and it comes down closer to the ground in case we get wind coming through. single wall tend to get condensation but it's been so windy tonight by leaving just a little bit of that door open it's got enough uh, breeze coming through here and the other spots around the tent that I'm not getting any so that's great I love having a dry tent in the morning 